Hello once again ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're on to question number 19 on the uh, grade 8 level Gauss paper for the year 2000. So uh, let's take a look at question number 19. And it looks very interesting. I really, I'm really intrigued by the diagram over here on the right hand side. Uh, a paved pedestrian path is 5 meters wide. A yellow line is painted down the middle. If the edges of the path measure 40 meters, by, and 10 meters, 20 meters, and 30 meters, what is the length of the yellow line? I think that's actually a really interesting question. Okay. So uh, let's draw our diagram and see what we can uh, get working. So we go, whoops. Let's draw this a little better, at least to start off. So we go over by 40, then we go down by 10. And this length here is 20. And finally 30. And this distance in here is 5. All right, and we're interested in, do I have a yellow? I do have a yellow. Oh, yay. So we're interested in this middle yellow line. Okay, now we know he's halfway, uh, I'll use red to mark this thing up. We know that it's in the middle, so on either side, we're going to have a five and a half, which is 2.5. And I think this is probably very important. And so uh, let's label some other places where we get five and a half. So red will be, or sorry, uh, half of five, so 2.5. So anywhere it's red, that's going to be uh, 2.5 meters. Okay. So I've labeled just about everywhere that it is. All right. So rather crucially, it's 2.5 here. So the yellow line goes up a bit, and then it's 2.5 away from the uh, edge, and the that total length is 40. So the yellow line is going to be 40 minus this tiny little 2.5. And we're going to have other instances where this happens. Okay. So uh, this, in, this uh, right here is 40 minus this little 2.5 right here. So that's 1 section of the yellow line segment. Okay. Uh, same thing down here. This is going to be 30 minus this little uh, 2.5 right up here. So now we have two sections of the uh, yellow line accounted for. And now how about these smaller parts? Okay. Well, we know that this whole distance here is going to be 20 plus 5, which is 25. That's the whole distance from here to here. Now the yellow line in here, uh, it starts off 2.5 away from the edge and it ends off 2.5 away from the edge. So the yellow line is going to be 25, because that's the total length, minus 2.5, minus 2.5. OK. And now we just have uh, this final length to work with. Well, uh, if we were to take a look here, we'd find ourselves with a distance of 5. And so that means that overall, 
this uh, section, this sort of tube bit, is going to be 10 plus 5, 15. And so that means that uh, this line segment in here, well, it's bounded on either side by 2.5s, so it's going to be 15 minus 2.5 minus 2.5. So let's use the green pen to uh, highlight this is part of the yellow path, this stuff's part of the yellow path, this in here is part of the yellow path, and this calculation right here is part of the yellow path. So, admittedly it's messy, and that's why uh, I don't do these things silently. We have a total length of 40 minus 2.5. Plus 15 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 plus 30 minus 2.5 plus 25 minus 2.5 minus 2.5. And we can grab our calculator and work that out. 40 plus 30 plus 15 plus 25 is going to be 110. Minus 2.5, minus 2.5, minus 2.5, minus 2.5, minus 2.5, minus 2.5. I should get 95. So 95, what is it, meters? And let's take a look. Is 95 meters one of our possible answers? There it is, it's C. Okay. So our answer for number 19 is going to be C. I think that was a very interesting little question. There was certainly a lot involved in this diagram. I think this is by far the most complicated diagram I've done so far. Uh, but it was all straightforward. It was just, you know, step back, take a deep breath, and figure out, okay, how do I approach this yellow line? Where is it? It's 2.5 from either side. And so we can keep using that. The key is to try and uh, focus on the smaller ones, 30 and the 40. Uh, you only have to take off one 2.5, and then in the middle it gets a little more complex. But if you solve the previous ones, it's not that big of a leap to solve the other ones. And then we just add everything up. So I'd, I'd say question 19, a good question. A little tough, but a good question nonetheless. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at question number 20. So uh, let's get ourselves a scrap piece of paper in anticipation for that. And uh, hopefully you are anticipating that. And I'll see you in the uh, next video.